also shut down Reggie Alecki, which I could see potentially being a threat to some of his Pokemon on his team, such as Empoleon and Moltres. What's that? Who's that? Oh, it is. Good. Oh. Oh. Alright everyone, I just want to apologize for last week. There were some weird technical difficulties we were having with the microphone. Um, that was totally on me. It was just a little goober moment, really. There was a clause in the purchase of the microphone I made that says something vague along the lines of you have to be a really good Pokemon player for your microphone to actually work. So I think with the win last week with Torterra, that should have taken it up. It is officially week two of the ETA season. This week we're playing the Golden State War Turtles, coached by Tylenol, who is a new coach to me in Mayo's League. Uh, two new coaches, two weeks in a row. But this is a really, really good team. Uh, the War Turtles are quite honestly one of the best teams in my opinion. Uh, they have a really solid defense, only comparable to like the 85 Bears or the 2000 Ravens. This team has Glyscore, Empoleon, and Moltres. They synergize very well together. They complement each other very in various different ways, especially with their weaknesses and stuff like that. There's really good attackers on this team, like Roaring Moon and Tapu Lele, uh, both really powerful Pokemon with good speed tiers. Uh, as well as a Terra Captain Jolteon, which has put in work in past seasons in this league. So I'm definitely taking note of that. This week I'm expecting Tapu Lele, Roaring Moon, Gliscor, Moltres, Jolteon, and Menshaw. The Jolteon and Gliscor will do a good job of shutting down Reggie Alecki. It's the only thing on my team that is faster than anything on his team, so I think that having both Gliscor and the Bolt Absorb Jolteon make for good checks for that. Um, kind of just allows Jolteon to kind of just be in my way and also still be faster than everything. As far as its Terra type goes for this week, I'm thinking either Ground, Ice, or maybe Flying even to try and, you know, miss a Torterra earthquake. But the only problem with this matchup this week is I rely on the Golden Goat plan. The, the plan is we set a bunch of shit up, like stealth rocks and spells and stuff like that. And then we switch in Golden Go to try and prevent the defog or the rat and spit. The only trouble is this team has uh, three defoggers, and it's that disgusting defense core of Moltres, Gliscor, and Empoleon. And I don't want to switch Golden Go into Gliscor, and I don't want to switch it into Moltres to take a stab super effectively. Mainly, I'm bringing Golden Go this week. Uh, oh, you know, fuck it. Let's just talk about what I'm bringing this week. We are going with a Kirby nickname theme. The only thing I know about Tylenol is they have a Terminal Montage Kerbo profile picture. So I'm going with a Kirby theme this week. And we're bringing a couple people off the bench. We got some first-time starters for the Toronto Torterras here tonight. We have Meta Knight, the Zatu. This Zatu is going to be Focus Sash with Light Screen, Reflect, Trick Room, and U-Turn. My plan tonight is a lot of the Pokemon on Tylenol's team are much faster than my like actual sweepers before I set up or anything. So instead of trying to outspeed everything, I kind of want to just be slower than everything. And I want to try and set up Trick Room early in the game and try and switch in one of our potential um, sweepers, whether that be Throw or Torterra, which are kind of my two low-key uh, offensive trick room threats for this week. So we'll talk about the Throw set next. It's going to be Red Kirby Throw, Assault Vest, Guts. I'm not scared to throw physical attacks around and catch a Flame Body from Moltres or anything. I want that. I'm looking to get the stab the I'm looking to get the attack bonus from some kind of status 
So I'll, I'll just fucking click buttons all day. We're bringing Bandana Waddle V, uh, Samurai Hisui. We're bringing a Choice Scarf set. This is not going to be a part of the Trick Room scheme. This is actually something that can be faster than a Max Speed Jolteon and kind of be a reliable check. We are Max Attack Adamant. We don't have to be uh, Jolly or whatever the fuck. I can't remember my neutrals right now. To outspeed the Jolteon. So we can get some good damage in. We can click Aqua Cutter and Ceaseless Edge and Sacred Sword uh, for Carfage on the Empoleon and the Long Moon. And get some good chip damage in on some of this team. Bring the star of the show, everyone's favorite, Torterra, King BD. And I know what you're all thinking. You're saying, Michael, why is there a Wakan Berry on a ground type? You do not have a weakness to electricity. And I say, I know. But we're running Terra Water this week, because it's going to help us break through Lyscore and Moltres. So we're running Earthquake, Sea Bomb, Swords Dance, and Terra Blast. With a Brave Nature max attack, we are going to either put this in or throw after we lead Zot 2, turn 1, and set up the Trick Room. And one of the screens, hopefully. I'm thinking they just leave Jolteon. And I'm not special defense. So, uh, whatever. Or whatever. We'll see. We'll see. Bring in Waddle Doo of the Golden Go. We're running Leftovers, Focus Blast, Nasty Plot, Shadow Ball, Substitute. We have enough speed EVs in here to outspeed a no speed Glide Score. Um, as well as almost max HP and 168 special attack. This is really my only answer for Tapu Pele, should it come. Um, a lot of my team is weak to either Fairy or Psychic or just neutral to it. So I kind of need something to be able to switch into a Moonblast or a Psychic. Uh, and that's kind of just Golden Go. It's really the only thing on the team that should be able to do anything like that. We have sub and nasty plot in case Lele is scarfed into something or choiced into something else. And we can potentially substitute and then get some good chip damage on Fly Scorp or something. Now, my only real answer to Roaring Moon is Groom Snarl. We're bringing Knuckle Joe the Groom Snarl. We're running a Rocky Helmet set with max HP, max defense. And a little bit of attack adamant so we get that good damage in we're running a fun set i can't really use sucker punch in this matchup because there is tapu lele so it will prevent the priority move um but we kind of get priority in a weird way with the rest sleep talk set because if we're sleep talking while resting we'll be able to move first um and that'll be kind of good so we can kind of get some cheesy hits on some of these Pokemon. You play a really tough team like this, um, I kind of just like to have fun and kind of just think of fun, creative things. So if you're really struggling and you're like, I don't know what to do, sometimes it's good to just kind of go outside the box and kind of just bring something that people aren't going to expect. Because that is honestly one of the better strats you can do in these types of leagues, is just bringing the element of surprise and totally catching your opponent off guard. So I'm hoping to get that done tonight. We'll see if we get it done. I'll see you guys at the game. Alright everyone, we're at the game. Tylenol's got a team pretty close to what we expected, honestly. We see the Men Shao, we see Glyscor, Tapu Lele, Jolteon, and Roaring Moon. And Polion's here. I like that, um, Moltres is in here. I'm not as worried about getting burned now, but maybe stuff like throw won't go as crazy. Uh, we'll see, though. Looking at this team, though, it's pretty quick. I'm thinking, quite honestly, the best play is probably still just leading with that Zatu. I'm expecting either a Jolteon lead here or a Men Shadow lead. So I think I'm just going to go with Zatu to start off the game. We'll set up our Trick Room and we'll do all our crazy things. Okay, so we actually see 
Napoleon uh, here. That is not what I expected. But we ball. I don't really think this thing can do anything to us. Uh, we're magic bound, so we can't set up rocks or anything. So. Kind of just want to set up Trick Room. And then maybe we can bring in AV Throw. Alright, let's start with that. Yeah, we see the flip turn here, anyways. This is probably going bright into Roaring Moon. Jolteon. Alright. We get the Trick Room up. Let's put up our light screen. Terra Ice. Yep, we were expecting that. Terra Blast. Nice. Alright, we can get the Reflect up. He goes for the Bolt Switch. Wow, okay. I was not expecting this. He goes back. It's a shame. The only thing we really have to hit this with is Dazzling. I think he's just trying to stall out Trick Room here. But what's nice is we still got these screens up for Torterra, so even though it'll be slower than everything, it'll still be nice to get it in behind the screens. They're really thinking about this. Fly score. Alright, we're gonna go with the Torterra play here. We're gonna Terra. We're gonna reveal the Terra water here, because they're probably gonna go for a flying move, and we're going to Sword Sense. Swords dance off, and they go for a toxic. I'm fine with that. I'd rather be toxic than burn. And here, I think we can just click water blast. I mean, terra blast, which is water blast in this case. Protect? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Get your, get your toxic damage in, King. We got a Team Rocket Showdown over here, says Mayo. It's funny, I didn't even notice that when I'll have the other. Team Rocket Grunt thing. Oh, here we go. We need that. Let's go. That didn't kill. That was really upsetting. Um, fuck. Is the last move Roost? The last move Roost. That sucks. But I feel like he just goes for another Protect here. I'm feeling a Protect here. Let's get crazy, everyone. Yep, let's go. Going for Fail to protect. I can honestly just protect again. I kinda just want to do it. Yeah, me and Shell, that's fine. Um What do you do? What do you do? Start playing me? I don't know. This, uh, this, I think, is the Torterra sack. This is a hashtag Torterra sack. Probably just die to anything. Maybe not for max health, but I feel like I should have crap for it. I'll just go for the Terra class for that. Yeah, close combat just kills us. Another question is, is that Scar? Scarf or Ban. We don't see the item. I'm gonna bring in Golden Go here actually, and I think I'm gonna sub up on this. I'm gonna hope that they're locked in here. So I'm assuming this is choice or something, because I have not seen this in the item. It's not life or anything. So Nice. Um I don't know if we kill a Glyscore here. We're certainly not faster though, so I say we just did some damage. Nice. Okay. Mian Xiao is here. I think we're just going to simply click Shadow Ball here again. Going for the knockoff. We're fine with that. Shadow Ball. Ooh. That's tough. Manchow is knocked in, locked into knockoff. 
kind of want to keep the rocky helmet on Grimmsnarl for Roaring Moon. I think I might bring in Throw here. Because I think they're locked in, so let's just go that. Knock off. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know if you stay in because you're a generator. But I also don't know if you switch into this. So I think I'm going to knock off here. Or free knock off on something. Tabu Lele. Okay. Leftovers. Nice. Um... Who am I kidding? They're probably going for a fairy move or a subject move here. I'm going into Golden Go. This is what Golden Go came here for. Alright, this is a common so. Shadow Ball? It's fine. We retaliate. Let's go, Golden Go. Nice kill right there. Whew. The gold's there, man. Got Jolty on here. Uh, hope no, still be good. I'm gonna just sack throw here and then bring in Samurai. Because Samurai can honestly just come in here now and click Sacred Sword. I don't know if Men Shao is faster, but we'll see. So I think I'm going to. Oh my Do I sack gold? I don't know. So I'm go better action. Golden goes a little beaten up. And throw. I need to make this castle throw. So if I bring throw in here, we could just get bolt switched on. And something else comes out. I don't know what I want more. I think I'm going to sack Golden Go here, honestly. Ah! Yeah, that's fine. Alright. And now, this thing's probably Specs. Actually, no, we saw it switching up earlier. It's a Terra Blast and Bolt Switch. So it would be like Expert Ball. So. I don't know. <laughs> How much this is doing. But I imagine it kills. So let's just go for it. Hell of a game, everyone. Let's go! <laughs> Bandana Waddle D with a crit. And Shao's here. Uh, I'm bringing it. So now he knows I'm Scarfs, and he went hard into it, so. Go for close combat then. This is fine. This is just a sack right here. We go into our physical answer room snarl here. And then we just play it for you. Actually, we can put Darkest Light right. Ah, oh, bastard. What does this Empoleon do to us over here? What does this Empoleon do? I feel like he's gonna click Scald or something like that. Which makes me scared to switch in Samurai. Samurai step would be through this game. But we also need Knuckle Joe to switch in Men Shall. I don't know. I feel like the only thing I can do here, honestly, is just hard switch in Samurai on the potential steel move, and then just keep clicking uh, Sacred Sword 
So let's just go for it. It's going to be really sad if we get burned on a scald. Scald. And... No! Damn. That sucks, everyone. We really need the damage on this thing, too. And it's going to be bruised. It's probably scald. Bruised. Lip turn. Something else. Damn. That was close, though. We're going to have a good fight at the end. I wonder if we'd be able to turn that around. It's a shame. I'm clicking Sacred Sword here, but uh, I don't know if there's anything here besides that. Roost? I don't know, just another Scald. Okay. Well, that's cool. We'll get to take Empoleon down. Hopefully. I don't know if they're thinking about switching out right now. Probably good to switch out and switch out and just, you know, save the differential. That 3 0 win. Yep, see, you meant shadow switch. Classic. Alright, let's, uh, die. Yep, scarf. Ooh, that one was coming, everyone. Um. We darkest lie right here. Yeah, we killed Min I don't know what comes out here now. Roaring Moon. Classic. Alright, we rest up. We get that resto. Iron Head Al. Alright, we're gonna sleep talk here, and if we get play rough, this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just rest. <laughs> Alright. GG to Tylenol. That was a really good game. Really great team. One of the best teams in this league, in my honest opinion. So I knew this was going to be a tough one going into it. We will uh, bounce back next week uh, in week three. Uh, and your Toronto Torteros will be looking for their second win of the season. So, see you later, guys.